Siri, mm -hmm. do you have any advice on how to record a YouTube video when you haven't done so in at least a month or so? So I'm kind of nervous. Please help. Okay. On the web okay, let's see. Something that works for me is just a slight shift in mindset or perspective. You're not recording the video for YouTube just for fun. That could work. Then when you finish, you tell yourself, psych, <laughs> then edit and upload. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh, that's actually true. I can do this, yeah. I'm not going to tell you that you should quit video games. I'm only here to tell you why I quit video games. And the reason is actually quite simple. I just got bored of video games basically, but I am gonna expand on it a little bit just so you get to know me a little bit better. And just like many other YouTube creators right now, I've also been thinking about how, you know, YouTube has been changing a lot lately where authentici authent authenticity, authenticity, yes, authenticity is slowly taking over YouTube again. I'm just testing it out, how it feels for me, because usually I don't feel that comfortable talking about myself in these videos. If you have seen any of the previous videos on this channel, you may notice that they're mostly about the idea itself and not about me, even though I'm the one experiencing those ideas. And maybe I will change that in the future. We will see. But that's why this video is just purely me talking to the camera and not doing anything silly or remarkable. So anyways, back in the days when I was a little kid, well, I'm not gonna go all the way back, but uh, I've been a gamer my whole life. My whole identity, pretty much my whole life has been that I am a gamer. I love gaming, I love esports. And gaming was my escape at first. Uh, I remember in my childhood, I pretty much drowned myself in Counter-Strike. I had a really shitty laptop. I used to grind it all the time after school. Didn't get much sleep at nights because I was just playing. And of course that got me into a lot of trouble at school. My grades were super bad. My parents weren't happy. And this is really something that probably many kids go through. You know, they discover video games as an escape or an accident or, you know, their older brother shows them a video game. That's basically what happened to me. It's, I don't have a brother, but I do have an older cousin. He introduced me to video games, which, you know, thank you, Laurie. Throughout my childhood, I've always had two really big passions. First one was YouTube. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. And the second one was eSports. So at 14 years old, I already knew that I'm either gonna be a YouTuber or I'm gonna be an eSports player. And I'm actually quite proud of the fact that I was, I was as bold with my choices as I was back then. I think it was pretty cool. Anyways, you can already see that I'm not really good at just talking, so I'm already rambling. But I do want to paint a picture of how important esports and gaming was to me. Specifically that one game, TS 1.6, then it was uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and now it's Counter-Strike 2. And because I had such a big goal of making esports into my full-time job, I was really motivated to make it into a reality. This doesn't mean I didn't have a lot of setbacks where I was thinking like, ah, oh, this isn't possible for me, I'm not good enough. This isn't a real job. Uh, back in 2014, 15, 16 even, you know, in a small country as Estonia, we didn't really even have a really good esports scene back then. All the signs were showing me that this was a rather unattainable goal. But this all changed in 2017 when Robs or Robin, one of the youngest upcoming TSGO professionals, joined Mouse Sports. He was the first Estonian TSGO player that I had actually reached a really, really high goal. And I think that showed every aspiring Estonian CSGO player that this is possible. It opened a huge window of opportunity and possibility in the Estonian CSGO scene, including me as well. And I think at that time I was already 22 or 23 years old, which means that when you take into account that the average retiring age of an esports player is only 25 years old, I was really old in that scene already and I had just started. So obviously I had that thought in my mind all the time that I don't have much time, but I was still trying really hard to get to somewhere at least and just kind of do it for the sake of doing it because there is something really important that I understood at the time. And I think I'm gonna sit down for this. I knew from the get-go that I was being kind of delusional, but what was even more important was that because I knew that this has been my dream for such a long time, I couldn't just let it go because if I tried to ignore it, and not pursue it. I would have that idea of wanting to be an esports pro uh, chase me my whole life. And if I at least didn't try it, I would also be chased by regret my whole life. The most important thing here is that I just knew that the pain of regret is so much greater than the pain of trying and not succeeding. Because when you try and you don't succeed, you can throw it away. You can let it go. It's easy to let it go because you did, you did your best. And after that, it's so easy to move on to other things, other goals you have, new goals you might have. But if you don't go for it, if you don't chase even the most ridiculous dreams you have, that idea, that dream, that 
potential you might have will forever chase you. And that just means you will always stay stuck in your head. The pain of regret, not even regret, but the pain of having an idea in your mind that you want to do, but pushing it off and not pursuing that, that idea. I truly believe that it's something that will destroy your soul and it will make you into a sad, bitter, angry person later in life. Recently, there was a person that came into my life and one of the first things she said is that she felt like I had a really clean aura or, or clean energy. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a spiritual person. I kind of am, but I try to be, keep it balanced. And I think one of the key reasons for this is because whenever I have any idea in my head, any idea, it, it could be the dumbest idea I've ever had. I just know that if I go for this idea, no matter how dumb it is, I will feel content and satisfied after the fact. I have always believed that humans are idea machines. Anyways, I'm rambling again, but how did my attempt at creating an esports career for myself actually go? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to tell you. Obviously, I didn't make it because I'm here right now talking to you about this. <laughs> I went all in. I tried really hard for a couple of years. I saw that uh, I didn't really have what it takes. I wasn't that good mechanically. I wasn't mentally strong enough to do it consistently. And quite frankly, I just really hated spending all my free time behind it but behind this desk here it was so fucking boring at times at one point i just started hating it i wanted to go out there and experience real life but instead i was you know playing csgo grinding deathmatch for the hundredth time this week at this point i had played in different teams that had showed some potential i had a youtube channel dedicated to counter-strike where i made tutorials for other people to enjoy i had built a small community of people who were also sharing the same passion for Counter-Strike as I did uh, on platforms like Discord, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube. And so I had quite a few people support me and my dreams. But at that time when everything outside of me showed signs of potential success in that area, inside I was really starting to feel tired and exhausted and burnt out from all of it. I just, I just stopped enjoying it. That's it. And this was pretty shocking for me because up until now chasing my dreams in esports was really all I wanted to do. So now that I was feeling like I wanted to do something else, I was I was quite confused. Like what is this feeling? Why <laughs> I thought this was it. This is all I needed, right? No. I mean, at this point I already had over 6000 hours or so in Counter-Strike. So the idea of leaving that behind to pursue something else was just it felt really unnatural to me. Like what else would I do? But this feeling of not enjoying the pursuit of my my dream, it, it persisted. And that's when I realized that the only reason I was holding on to that thought of becoming an esports pro was because of the outcome. The outcome of becoming an esports pro is, you know, it's, it's something. If you Google how much the top esports players are earning nowadays, it's it's insane. But it's more of the fact that I had always had that idea in my head that if people asked me, like, what do I do for a living? I could say, oh, I'm an esports pro. And I always thought like, oh shit, that is, that sounds so cool. I want to be able to say that. When I realized that the only thing I really wanted was the outcome and not the pursuit itself, that's when I realized that it's, it was time to let it go. And with that realization over the past year or two, I started to slowly just play less and less and less video games because I didn't have the desire anymore, which eventually got me to the point where I sold my PC, you know, my PC used to sit right over here. I haven't even played Counter-Strike 2 since it came out. It is somewhat because Apple is not supported on Counter-Strike 2, but also because I don't, I don't really feel like I want to. I still follow the esports scene. I still probably watch every game Rob's plays. Just yesterday, I watched him win another tournament in China. And Rob's got the MVP, by the way. I'm still a huge fan of Rob's. But the whole reason for this video and the whole reason for this channel's existence is just imagine how much freedom it gives you when you have an idea that's stuck in your head that you want to do, and then you actually do it. Even if you find out by doing it that it's not for you, you can now let that idea go. Your mind is now free to come up with other ideas. If I was 28 years old, but I never actually tried to achieve anything in Counter-Strike. This YouTube channel wouldn't exist. The people in my life would probably not be there. I would still dream about being a Counter-Strike pro, even though at this age, I would definitely have some regret setting in. So I just cannot imagine living with that regret. It's, oh, it just sounds so painful. Why would you do that to yourself? So I think that's one of the reasons this person that recently came into my life 
said that I have this pure or clean energy because I don't carry any baggage with me. My only job in life is to take that idea that I have in my mind and put it out to the world to see. And it is fully not up to me to decide what the world thinks of it. I, I just, it doesn't matter. There are so many people in life that don't pursue something because they think that, oh, it's not gonna work out. Well, it doesn't have to work out. <laughs> probably even you right now. Throughout this video, I've been talking about pursuing a dream that I never achieved. You have probably been thinking about that one thing that you kind of want to pursue, but it's too big of a dream. It's, it's impossible. You're too old, you're too young, you're too smart, you're too dumb. <laughs> I don't think you can be too smart to do something. Well, maybe you can. Because usually smart people have a tendency to talk their way out of doing things, which means you probably are a smart person. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you achieve this or not. The only thing in life that matters is that if you have an idea, just go and do it. Why have I become a motivational speaker in this video? I don't know. The only thing that matters is that you pursue that idea you have. That's it, that's all you have to do. You cannot control the outcome. You don't have to control the outcome. And because you cannot control it, there's no fear. If you know anything about stoicism, what do they say? If you cannot control it, don't worry about it. If you can control it, don't worry about it. I don't really care about motivating people. I don't do this so I can say like, yay, I helped so many people, look at me. You don't even need advice from strangers from the internet. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. And I will never pretend that I know what kind of advice you need. That's not who I want to be. The only reason this channel exists is for selfish reasons. I'm doing all these videos just for myself. Just like this video here, I had this idea. I had to get it done. I had to put it out there. That's it, I'm moving on. Anyhow, that's why I quit playing video games. <laughs> now you know. I'll see you in the next video where I play play Minecraft for two weeks straight. That's right, never let them know your next move. All right, see ya.